every year at the end of the summer I say I will not come here again because I did and I came here a lot but when the next year when we are in the spring and the trees are started to be full again I feel I want to come here again we are in the middle of the day so it's not the best time to go out and take photos and to be honest actually today I'm not sure that I will be able to make a very nice photo because as I said the condition is not so good the Sun sometimes disappears uh, behind the clouds but today I am so happy that I am here again last time I was here I think something like six months ago at the end of last summer because I don't come here in the winter the area doesn't look so attractive in the winter or in the winter all the trees are empty and there's nothing I feel that there's, there's nothing attract my eye so as I said I am not sure actually that I will be able to make good photos today maybe I will wait until the Sun disappears behind the clouds if I am a little bit lucky today so I will have soft light I will search for a good composition I will set up my camera set up my tripod and be ready and wait for the Sun to disappear so I will be able to have a soft light, good light, to try to have a good photo today. The weather is so nice today and I can't take off my jacket actually but I don't want to because I don't want to have hundreds of bites, insect bites on my both arms. There's lots and lots of insects today. I think I found a good photo here I'm trying to take. I will show you everything right now but it's sunny again and I don't want to take the photo like that as I no still no yeah. so I'm just taking different exposures just Yeah, I like the side light. I have I have side light. Oh. I love the clouds. I love the sun is again here. So, I will show you the photo right now. I'm <laughs> I'm lucky that the clouds came again. So, as you can see, this is a photo but it was sunny. So, I was waiting for the sun to disappear and after that when the light is soft as you can see now we have a side light from Lynx in spite of that the sun is on this area here in this direction but because it disappears behind the clouds and there's a lot of heavy trees on this area and on the other side here we don't have trees that's why we can find that the light is coming from the light is coming from this direction as you can see here the light is so soft I think I will like it as I started at the beginning as you have just seen I was putting my 7300 millimeter lens but I felt that I want to be closer to the tree because there's a lot of distractions and I don't want to show them in the composition that's why I put it my 50 millimeter lens and now I'm closer to the tree a little bit to remove all the distractions from the ground and maybe I think I will crop it 4 by 5 I'm not sure I will write that if I make a crop. So I will show you the raw file and after that the edited one. I think the most annoying feeling for any photographer when you go out and you search and search and you don't feel there's anything makes you want to take off your camera from the bag 
and to try taking photos. And at the same time, it's so hard to decide about the composition when the light is changing. It's so hard to decide that this is a place that is good and I want to take a photo of this place when the sun disappears because the light is totally different and the soft light is totally different and the light changes, everything changes. The areas of contrast changes and the shade areas disappear. Like now, as you can see, the tree is now attractive again because the light is soft but when the everything is in contrast yeah areas like this woodland areas for me i think the best time is golden hour when everything is soft and we have a side light or in heavy cloudy days rainy days foggy days foggy days obviously no one i think no one hates fog in terms of landscape or woodland photography. I'm really lucky today because I didn't expect to have soft light but yeah I'm I'm lucky with that I was trying to take a photo here now I went ultra wide 10 millimeter lens the Sigma 10 20 millimeter lens and I was taking this photo at 10 millimeter so I will record a video on the camera to describe what I'm thinking about better than just pointing with my hand so as you can see this is the depth which I was talking about I have I have this tree here and those two trees but I was putting them behind each other to look like only one tree and here is also another tree and we have the end of the bus so what I was trying to do is that showing depth in the photo because of the trees you can see that there's a big tree here a small tree and that makes depth because the trees are in different place of the photo and at the same time we have like a small path here and the path is also making depth in the photo because it starts at the beginning of the photo and goes all the way to the end of the photo and that makes natural depth in the photo and what i did is that i used a cbl filter also to remove all the light reflections as you can see the white spots on these leaves here on the ground exactly like the first photo i will show you the raw file and the edited version of this photo So at the end, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the both photos, the first one and the second one. Please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video. Bye.